As it turns out, uh, upon reaching it, and of course reaching Lord Taraptus' secretary, uh, the secretary will inform you that Lord Taraptus is free right now. And, uh, well, has been free for some time. Uh, the secretary, however, will note, I've been afraid to disturb him. Uh, he met again with Ajax this morning. Leon's, Leon's face will go from his normal kind of smirk to just a blank face at that. How how did Ajax leave the meeting? Very confident, Hiram. Very confident. Oh. Hiram, he also sent his regards for you. He sort of looks angrily at... Uh, at us. Don't be his messenger boy. Oh, let's go talk to him. Alright, you're uh, able to knock on the door. You'll hear the deep commanding voice, Enter! And opening the door, you will, uh, for the first time since you've entered Lord Travis' office, see a complete and utter lack of smoke. None comes pouring out of the office. Uh -huh. Go ahead and move your tokens over there. Lord Taraptus actually uh, is sitting, once again, as he often does, looking outside at the cool uh, mid-afternoon sky. Sort of. His head is sort of slumped over, uh, as if uh, he may be too exhausted to even keep the correct posture within a chair. Can I help you? Just, uh... Well, been more ways than one, I think. Lord Taraptus slowly looks away from the window and towards the three of you who decided to enter and said, seems all uh, the Tempest decided to keep Aurelia company. <laughs> all right. Good afternoon, you three. What do you need of the Archmage on this day? What happened with Ajax? Is he still here? He, uh, he clenches his jaw. Ajax is, for now, still within the city of Newport. Yes, the insufferable snit has managed to work himself up from the mewling little cub that he once was to the official emissary of the High Druid here to this city, Newport, one of the seven largest cities in the Dragon Empire. And the current position he has, that the Druid has, is very strong. What's he demanding? The... Ajax brings clear word that I have been isolated here. And of course, as the head of one of the major cities, I am expected to make decisions. Now, the Druids have, certainly in recent years, but particularly this past winter, done a far superior job of defending against the Sahagwin and monsters of the Iron Sea, whereas the Empire has been mostly focused on repairing the wards and uh, patching them up and finding a way to solve this winter, the cold that has gripped the land. As such, there has been call to make some political session, uh, concessions towards the... Uh, I drew it in exchange for her increasing importance to the defense and preservation of the Dragon Empire, which is really bitter and I would find really amusing if it weren't such a bad situation right now. Most of my colleagues are dead, either from the explosion or from the Black Fang. Horizon is mostly silent. I haven't been able to get much feedback. My superiors have basically given me the notion to be like a bird and just wing it. He 
bitterly will sweep off a few of the books and scrolls that are on his desk. When I accepted this position, I didn't end up thinking that, uh, that uh, I would end up seeing a situation that might bring about the end of the age under my watch. And yet to think that this empire is, would be so dependent on the druid herself for protection. But our ability, I've received report from the wall, and our ability to predict future attacks and even rebuff them has been diminished greatly. The failing of wards has not been a localized event, but it has been spotted in all of the major cities, even Horizon itself. Most of the Archmage's resources have been devoted to trying to puzzle out why this has happened, and as a result, many of our efforts that we've been trying to accomplish or even maintain have suffered. As for the Dragon Empire itself, you can just listen to it in the streets. They're starved. Food is gone. People are actually blaming the Archmage of all people. For is it not the wards that are supposed to secure the crops and ensure that the winters are mild? And what of the Blessed Emperor's powerful ritual that made the Midland Sea calm? Why are there sightings of Sahagwen? Why are there sightings of storms that belong out there in the Iron Sea? Ajax comes in, in this great position of power, and I can't even say how he would have gotten so much, considering how irrelevant he used to be. And he makes these demands of me, and I would love to end him. And yet, out of fear that it would cause more harm, more chaos, my hands are bound. I wish I had someone, anyone, of the people I've nurtured over the decades. I don't. What I have is going to have to be enough. Or it won't be. That's my situation. Here in Marska. What's yours? Well, we're in a city and we've been given a job to do and it needs doing. But it seems that every single time we attempt to solve this problem, we hit one single wall. And it is the limits of our ability to act within the, the range of the law in a system that is so deeply corrupt that it protects those it should condemn. We do not have the necessary authority or power to act in the ways we might need to. We have many people whom we are fairly certain are of the Black Fang, but we have no ability to touch them within the law. So we have no written proof, because of course they would not keep such. How can the Black Fang attack wizards so openly without any sort of authority being given to the people trying to return such attacks? what I'm about to say. And uh, he'll pause, and he'll actually glare at the door. Tempest, Dragonborn, get in here. The, 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 the doors open and both stumble in. That was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Tempest will reach out a hand and the door will slam shut and he'll mutter a few words. For decades, I have tried my absolute to preserve imperial integrity. But Pertinax Bluebane was right in the insufferable evil 
that the blue represents, and not just the blue, but the rest of the three as well. How insidious the black thing has been. How deep these plans must go. At this point, I question whether the Mistress of Sorcery could have been responsible for unraveling these wards across the Empire meant to weaken us. It is a cruel twist of fate, one that Bluebane has fought against so mightily. And, fun fact that you didn't know, her next Bluebane is the given name and epitaph of the current Archmage. It is a seldom invoked name. I've heard it before. It is a cruel fate that despite all of the campaigning and all of the maneuvering and positioning and our Grand Shadow War, that it is the blue of all individuals who holds just as much authority as the Archmage does. In an entire city that she's rebuilt full of... He looks over at Aurelia and then pinches his nose again. These are dark times. The winter has been exceptionally gruesome. The attempts of my contemporaries to solve the problem by using the Orb of Storms has ended disastrously and taken out most of the resources that I could have expended within the city. Damn Orb is gone. And all that there is left here is ruin. And meanwhile... The Black Fang, and the power of the three, the four, it might as well be Legion, because that's what it seems like they are, continues to grow. I am not saying this in my official capacity as the most powerful wizard in the entirety of this grand city of Newport. I'm saying this as a concerned Imperial citizen who, for once in a very long time, is terrified. Terrified of what the future holds. Terrified because his power cannot shape it or control it. I have hunted shadows so long that the shadows are with me, and they're a part of me now. As your direct superior, for almost all of you, however, of course, is one who is not affiliated with the Archmage, I cannot invoke you to do anything of the sort. But I would encourage you and he'll give a long look at Aurelia and clench his jaw and close his eyes and uh, water starts to appear at the corners. I would encourage you to pursue whatever means you think are necessary to ensure that this age does not come crashing down or that the Dragon Empire does not fall. The books on the ages prove it themselves that history remembers victors. And for a long time, I guess I didn't accept that. If the Black Fang is everywhere, and stop them from being everywhere. And I guess it wouldn't do good if I didn't take my own advice. Unfortunately, I can't abandon my post. If I did it, pretty much all the Archmage contacts here would wither. I can't resign. I can't go off on one grand hunt against those who've hunted me and my friends. I 
mold that's left here. And through official channels, I'm not sure whether I could help anymore. I have exerted what I had, which after the explosion and the failing of the wards isn't much. The people here are a little bitter, which they have no right to be after everything the Archmage has given them. But they are bitter all the same. They are stupid and cannot help themselves. All they see are narrow-minded short-term. They don't see what the famine will bring. They don't see the devastation of the colder nights of the shorter days. They just go, Yeah, Archmage is out of control. Do what you must with the knowledge that what you're doing is right and best for the Empire. And know that I can't know. At least not officially. Because for most of you, I am your superior. Jermo, stand up. And not Jermo says, so well then, I suppose, uh, I suppose the uh, gloves are off, so to speak. Lord Tereptus offers a thin smile and says, I toss my gloves off too. Unfortunately, someone still has to politic. Uh, uh, we might be making a bit of trouble soon, so... I'll do what I can to exert as much pressure as possible, but... <laughs> the situation might not be all untoward to what you would encounter in a city with which I'm sure you're familiar. Depends on how extreme you go. <laughs> Just yeah. try not to destroy the city in the process. Kind of do need that. We'll do my best. I will try to hold them back as best I can. That's good. That's good. If there's anyone here that I think can be relied on to do the right thing, it's you. He says, looking at the paladin. Empress is just looking up at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Uh, look at Traptors and say, uh, perhaps, perhaps this might give you a chance to enjoy our antics vicariously, if nothing else. Perhaps. All I would say is, and this goes into the letter I left you, do hear him, again, not in the official capacity, well, rather, in the official capacity, I suggest staying away from Ajax. <laughs> Although that is also tempered by the concern that I am not entirely sure whether you could take him. Hello. Looks at him and But to do what's best for the Dragon Empire. The Black Fang is the worst concern. The High Druid is has a lot of fair points, and were it not for the assistance of the Druids, we would probably have a Sahagwin invasion on our hands. So, what you're saying is their time will come. One could interpret it like that. <laughs> but for now, civilization and not civilization need each other. At least in my official capacity. says, that's what we all heard. Yes. 
Well, we have much to do. All right. I will... The treasury doesn't have much. I uh, will see what supplies have been salvaged during the reconstruction. Might be able to uh, get a few things your way. At least the gold, if nothing else. You would uh, perhaps be well off trying to make friends outside of this organization. The Archmage has only lost power ever since you've arrived. Not in exactly through your fault. Any suggestions for the start? Perhaps anyone in law enforcement or the government could use our aid to take care of certain elements? Well, I know the gas problem has gotten a bit out of control, especially after the backlash from the Festival of St. Bain. This was typical. The undead every year after the festival get a bit sassy. But I heard at least one of the grates had been removed. And uh, perhaps this time the undead are maybe sensing the weakness and vulnerability of the city. With populace being underfed, they're desperate... And, uh, the ghouls, well, they're not that bright. The gas are more so. You could try to ingratiate yourselves with the, his governorship, Arthur Tristan, through that. Although he has not personally met you, I am most assured that he has heard your names. I've had occasion to meet him myself. He is an intelligent man. There is also Evrat Lavelle. He is not officially affiliated with the Archmage, and I know he has ties to Arthur Tristan as well. He would be a noble I think you could go to. I did warn you not to burn bridges with him, and from what I understand of your situation, you have not. He may be able to offer assistance as well. I can't say much in the way of anything else. I've been politicking and organizing and... Would you suggest we deal with this gas problem first and talk to the governor later or you the other way around? You probably couldn't get an audience with the governor even if you tried. I don't think any of you have that kind of pull or connection. And none of you are connected to the emperor in a positive way. Huh. As, uh, that's me, God, saying that. <laughs> the Lord Trapped is suddenly breaking the fourth wall. Um... <laughs> uh, the Emperor doesn't like you. Yeah, 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 you got a bit like the, the like you're okay. You're like a filly of the Archmage, but that doesn't exactly help too much. With that in mind, I try that. Of course, you'd end up ingratiating yourselves to uh, local temples, who are of course devoted to fighting the undead. Uh, getting some pull with the actual seat of power here could really help. It just so happens that you've chosen the one great city that the Archmage is really losing influence in, other than Dragon Hall. There's that. There's Avrat. Well, there's the blackmail stuff that you got from uh, that headquarters of the adventuring group, whatever. You could try using those perhaps into something that the nobility would actually attempt to do, because it would get them in less trouble. So maybe not kidnapping and murdering. Other than that, you are the ones who've been out there in the city more than I have. I've been confined here to the college, trying to keep everything together. Follow your consciences. Will do. Oh, and uh, for supplies, ritual scrolls would be uh, appreciated if you find any. The college is pretty depleted, but uh, if, again, if we can't find anything specific, I think we can, uh, we can sell a few things around here if nothing more to get the money. All right. I suppose I can probably start with this. 
and uh, he'll reach into a drawer pocket. Let's see. Oh, these coins are pretty old. Damn, that one's from High Rock. All right, that's uh. 10, 20, 30, That's 75 platinum pieces. Good, I can still count. And uh, he will begin scooting like stacks of 10 and then a last one of 5 across the air, courtesy of Mage Hand. <laughs> 75 platinum pieces. That's, uh. Maybe might be able to get some more for you, but, uh. He sort of shrugs. Well, the reconstruction costs have been very steep. I'm not, this, this should get us through quite a bit. You uh, may or may not hear us from us uh, sooner, but the future is uncertain. All right. We'll stand and uh, not turn and say, uh, Thank you for your time. I needed to hear this. Your company is, of course, appreciated. You, he looks over at Aurelia, five, have at least not been a negative influence here in Newport. At least not as far as the Archmage is concerned, and that is ultimately where I am concerned. Let's all step back and, uh... We'll take two to leave the office. Until next time. Lord Taraptus will nod. You write the money into the into the treasure pile, Dark? Um. Well, the, the thin party wallet. <laughs> 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 Would be more more appropriate. The um, get up. Give the a boss flying out. Lord Taraptus will uh, give a polite nod to Leon as well. Yeah, Aurelia will actually nod to Lord Taraptus with genuine respect rather than barely hidden defiance as she has done before. Lord Taraptus's eyes will focus on Aurelia and say, you know, perhaps the biggest mistake we Archmage agents have made is that we chose to fight in a shadow war when our opponents are better at it. She knows at that. Uncommonly stupid for us. And then just leaves. Uh -huh. Lord Taraptus like looks at Tempest. Tempest opens his mouth slowly and just raises a finger to his head and it's sort of a gentle salute. Um, very obvious. He's partly kind of thinking, yeah, he's pretty sure he's part of the mess up process and the fact he kind of failed the mission that he was given by Taraptus. Lord Taraptus will it. say, you know, maybe I was wrong, Tempest. Maybe you'll have a chance to prove that but not sitting in my office. Tempest nods, uh, slides himself out of the chair, bows his head a bit, taps his forehead again. Uh, as always, uh, a butt-clenching pleasure. And <laughs> politely walks away. Lord Taraptus will turn his head to look outside the window again. I said, a new sense of clarity. I suppose so. Don't fight a shadow war, he said. They're better at it. They Whatever are. means necessary, he said. Uh, Whatever force might be needed. It is true that the Archmage has, has quite advocated stronger tendencies towards the blue. I mean, it would only be following his wishes to not play nice. Damned be the consequences. 
I suppose. So do we first spend time going into the sewers and uh, deal or dealing with some of these undead to gain a bit of a nice reputation and then we go and, uh, well, raid the uh, taverns? I think that all makes sense. And uh, then we do it all in time to go and uh, and save uh, the Druid's girlfriend. Yeah. I I do think so. Should be good. Still have the power of the nobles that we could use to try to hurt. Uh, yeah, might also need to use later to get us out of some situation, but. Well, yeah, but we might want to use them while we can before we're in prison and they don't have to listen to us. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, pulling some in weight there at some point to attack the Black Fang in some fashion. Yeah. Uh, or, or buy their lawyers. If, if that, <laughs> oh. That's what nobles can do. Acquire yourself these lawyers. I mean, that would be useful. But, uh, but for now, I say we... I mean, do we just go into the sewer and kill things? Is that how it works? We need three heads, I think. Right? We need more than that, probably. But Standard ghouls, we could probably take a good number of. Yeah. Ghasts, a bit tougher. But a bit tougher, but we can definitely take them. Well, some of them. Yeah. I imagine they're, they're not... I mean, they're not stupid down there. Is that the thing, right? Yeah. Ghouls are intelligent. <sighs> All right. I'm going to give you folks an option. Uh, you are not going to receive a full heal up until after either two battles or one really strenuous battle. We can have it so that your battle in the sewers would, con if, you know, we can have one at the end of session consist of like one battle and you still won't get a full heal up. Or I can throw the fucking house at you guys, give you the basically the equivalent of two battles for you, if not a bit higher, and uh. If you survive that, or I suppose if even if you fail and take campaign loss, you'd still get your full heal up. I say, give us the house. 